Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near unto all them that call upon his name and call upon him in truth. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Amen. Matthew 6, 25 through 34 selected verses says, Jesus teaches about worry. He says, therefore, I say unto you, why do you worry about your life? What you will eat or what you will drink? About your body, what you will wear? Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, but yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who are you? By worrying can add a single hour to his life. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? But seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of his own. Brothers and sisters, whether we have personal concerns, family matters, financial needs, or health issues, we all have reasons to worry. Sometimes critical situations can strike immediate fear in our hearts. That on, that's only natural. But when we take our worries to bed with us, wake up with them, and carry them around with us all day, it's not how God wants us to live. Anxiety is a condition in which the mind is pulled in two directions, and it results in an emotional state of distress that will dominate our thoughts because we are overly concerned with what could happen in the future. First Peter 5 and 7 says, To cast all our anxieties or worries on the Lord, for he cares for us. Jesus reminds us that there are some things that are beyond our ability to control. When he says, who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? In those instances, we are demonstrating unbelief and may intensify our pain or frustration. We must trust God to provide our needs because he knows our every need. Amen. Jesus teaches that instead of focusing primarily on obtaining the necessities of this life, that we should seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So my brothers and my sisters, let us make it our top priority to acknowledge him as our Lord and Savior seeking to walk obediently in his ways. And he promises to supply whatever we need. I remind you that although we all face trouble, God knows how much we can bear because his grace is sufficient, according to 2 Corinthians 12, 7 through 9. Finally, do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Let us turn our schedules over to the Lord. Wake up with our minds stayed on Jesus, seeking his direction to order our steps. Say a prayer of thanksgiving, for he walks with us through hard times. He protects us as he provides for us, and he always keeps his promises. Please remember, the call of God never takes us where the grace of God cannot sustain us. Have faith in God, my brothers and my sisters, and kick the worry habit. Be blessed and be encouraged and know that God loves you.